in partnership with Meta. I've partnered with Meta to give you the first look at the new Gen AI creative features rolling out on Ads Manager over the next few weeks. They're literally rolling out now as we speak. Some of you are gonna start seeing it in your Ads Manager today, so you're not gonna to wanna to miss this. I've been testing out these features myself and it's really cool. This is going to make creative that converts so much easier and quicker, and I consider it a must test for all brands that start seeing this in their Ads Manager. So here is what you need to know. We're gonna go over everything Thing that's listed right here, starting with what is Gen AI? Gen AI, or Generative Artificial Intelligence, is simply an AI or machine learning that can produce content. So this includes things like text, imagery, like statics and video, and even audio. Essentially, you give an input and the machine learning will give you an output in the form of content. So how is Meta adding Gen AI to Ads Manager? Meta is gonna be implementing Gen AI at the ad level slash creative level. So we're actually putting in the creative that shows up on social feeds. So this is really going to influence how we're developing creative because we're gonna be able to produce a lot of that creative directly in Ads Manager. What's really cool about this too is you're gonna be able to develop even more creative variations. And we all know how important creative diversity is right now. First, let's start with image generation. This is actually a brand new feature by Meta. All you have to do is provide an initial image and the AI will create entirely new visuals for you. This makes creative diversity and testing new visuals way easier. And there are two options that you're gonna have inside of Ads Manager to get those new images. Currently, advertisers are able to generate new backgrounds around a specific product in their Advantage Plus catalog ads. But now advertisers can create new background images behind any object as long as it has a solid or transparent background. I also found that this has improved quite a bit since their Advantage Plus catalog ads product. The next one is going to be images that are inspired by your initial image. So you're essentially creating brand new visuals from that initial input. Now, the thing that I like about this the most is that for both of these options, you also have the ability to directly add text overlay to that image. And this is really important. You're also going to have the ability to select which images you actually want to show up on people's social feed. So you don't have to worry about Gen AI going rogue and putting something out there on the social feeds that you didn't approve. And number two is generating ad copy. And this is also experimenting right now with adding brand voice and tone. And essentially what this means is you're going to be able to generate primary text and headline copy all with the touch of a button. As Meta starts building this out, you're going to start to see more recommendations that are guided by your previous campaigns and text input. At least that's where the product is heading. And you're going to be able to see a few examples of this in those initial outputs, but over time that should grow. So with these two features, here's what you're gonna be able to do. You're going to be able to easily generate multiple image and text options, which is ultimately gonna help fight creative fatigue and improve your performance. It's also gonna save you a ton of time and resources. And with the new voice and tone options, you're gonna be able to stay on brand. All right, so how do we test these features out? Meta is rolling this out gradually, so some of you are gonna be able to see it today, or it could take a little bit longer. Most accounts, however, should be able to see it in the next four to six weeks. The plan though is to complete the rollout by the end of the year. Be sure to let me know in the comments if any of you are starting to see it. The Gen AI creative capabilities are located at the ad level and specifically the image generation capabilities are located at the Advantage Plus creative section. And the text generation option is going to be located under primary text as well as headline. And my understanding is, is that portion is going to be a little bit of a slower rollout. So let's give this a quick test directly inside of Ads Manager. So we're gonna use a fake brand that I created called Figure Net Cream. So when you you go to the app level and you put in your initial image right under advantage plus creatives you're going to see an image generation ai section and a little button to try it out and here's where you're going to be able to see your two different options you're going to have your image featuring an object or images inspired by your ad creative so let's try the image featuring an object and since we already put in the initial image in the section where you normally put in an image or a video, you can already see the image variations that they selected. So let's select a few here. And then you can also see the text overlay section and we can add something there and then save. And here's what it generated. Now let's also try out images inspired by your ad creative. And we can see right here, whether or not we'd want to use one. 
And again, same thing here. You can also put the text overlay using AI here as well, which I think is a pretty cool feature. And as far as generating new text, you can actually go right into the text section, enter in an input, and then it's gonna give you even more suggested variations. These are pretty good. And same thing at the headline level. Honestly, I am very, very impressed by this. So here's my honest experience testing this out. So I have been testing this out with some of my clients and here are the things that I'm really interested by. Number one, I know it's really early days, but the image generation with the plain background is actually something I've been doing in another platform. So I'm excited to see it right inside of Ads Manager. I've been seeing an influx of simple image graphics with text overlay that have been performing really well inside of Ads Manager lately. So the ability to create these directly inside platform is pretty exciting. I'm beginning to suggest brands to lean into this feature to do rapid message testing. And my favorite part is candidly the copy generation. I feel like this is the part of the creative process that a lot of brands and teams leave at the last moment. So it's really great to see these text outputs immediately. And honestly, they're oftentimes comparable or even better to what my teams were making by themselves. So this is something that I'm definitely gonna be using in the future. I already know a lot of you are already using AI for those anyways. It's really cool to already have that in Ads Manager. So my critique on these Gen AI features are pretty much the same critique that I have about using AI and your ad creatives in general. You have to be incredibly selective. I'll Ultimately, humans need to be the editors here. It's not a fair expectation for you to think that every text or image recommendation is going to be perfect. But learning how to utilize AI at this stage and have it reduce time spent on creative production and ultimately increase efficiency is the future. So yes, right now, some outputs don't necessarily look realistic and that's okay. And while that might mean that this isn't exactly what some brands are looking for, I have actually seen AI images like this perform well on meta ads. So for businesses that do want to test quickly, be more agile in their creative strategy and ultimately having more creative diversity, then I highly suggest potentially stepping outside of your comfort zone and leaning into these new capabilities. Meta is clearly investing a lot in this. And again, while I do realize it is really early days. I'm excited to see how this product develops over time. I want to hear your honest thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you next week. Bye.